Earthquakes, Unit 4.3 Coastal areas The coast, also known as the coastline, shoreline or seashore, is defined as the area where land meets the ocean or as a line that forms the boundary between the land and the coastline. Earthquakes a sudden violent shaking of the ground typically causing great destruction as a result of movements within the Earth's crust or volcanic action. Epicenter The point on the Earth's surface vertically above the focus of an earthquake. Focus The center of interest or activity landslide it is the sudden movement of loose rock and soil down a slope energy transfer examples of energy transfer by waves gravitational potential energy of raindrop is converted into kinetic as read through water Tsunami. A tsunami is a series of waves in a water body caused by the displacement of a large volume of water, generally in an ocean or a large lake. Wave. Tsunami waves may travel as fast as 600 miles per hour in the open ocean and can reach heights of over 100 feet when they come ashore. Earthquakes can cause terrible damage. In 2015, an earthquake hit Nepal. Quake means shaking. So an earthquake is shaking of the earth. More than 9,000 people died and 23,000 people were injured. The first photograph shows the damage of two buildings done by this earthquake. The second photograph shows damage to the railway lines after an earthquake in Mexico in 2017. There are about 500,000 earthquakes each year around the world. Many of these earthquakes are so small that people don't notice them. But around 100 earthquakes a year are so strong that they cause damage like scenes shown in photographs. They also cause landslides, which are when soil and mud slide down the slopes. The soil and mud can cover towns and crops. How do earthquakes happen? Earthquakes happen when there are sudden movements of rocks in the Earth's crust. The Earth's crust is made up of huge pieces of flat rock, where two of these pieces meet. They rub together, these movements create huge amount of energy. The energy changes or transfers into waves. The wave travels through the crust to the Earth's surface. We feel these waves on the Earth's surface as an earthquake. Seismic waves radiate from the focus of an earthquake. Look at the model of the Earth. The diagram shows a piece of the Earth's crust. The focus is where the earthquake begins inside the crust. Waves of energy pass through the crust and onto the surface. The worst damage at the surface is experienced immediately after the focus at a point called epicenter. Which part of the world are at risk of having earthquakes? The parts of the world at risk of having earthquakes are the same areas that have a high risk of volcanoes. Both volcanoes and earthquakes happen when the rocks of the crust are broken and moving. Most earthquakes happen in the specific ring of fire. Tsunami A tsunami is a huge sea wave. A tsunami happens when there is an earthquake or volcanic eruption under the sea. The energy from the earthquakes transfer to the sea to make huge waves. 
sea waves increase in height when they reach shallow water. So when tsunami reaches a shallow coastline area, the area along the border between the land and the sea, the wave can reach a height of 50 meters. This huge wave causes flooding of coastal areas. Questions What is tsunami? What causes a tsunami? Answer in the comment section.